بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ بینیفیشن دا موسٹ مرسیفل السلام علیکم دیر چلرن ٹوڈے آئی ایم ہیر ویڈ ای تھرڈ لیسن آف انگلیش ای گریڈ ٹو الحمدللہ ناو وی آر ان سیکنڈ ویک اکورڈنگ ٹو سکیم آف سٹڈی And in this uh, lesson, we will cover the question answer of chapter two. So let's start. Our today topic is chapter number two, question answer, page number 17. In this lesson, we will cover the question answer portion. So the first question is, is ice cold or hot? First of all, tell me, Do you know what is ice? Ice is a frozen water crystalline solid. If you don't know, all of you will know the ice cream. Whenever you are eating ice cream, when you feel cold, so almost we are say that it is cold is ice. So ice is not hot. Ice is a frozen water, frozen. It's look like a crystalline solid. So the answer will be not hot. The answer will be ice is cold. Question number one, is ice cold or hot? Ice is cold. Now question number two, is water wet or dry? Water, all of you know water. What is a water? A water is colorless, transparent liquid. They form the sea, lakes, rivers, and rain. The name of water typically refer to the liquid state of comp compound. Liquid, water is a liquid. Other than that, we are also use water for uh, drinking, washing, cleaning, planted seeds. So water, water is not dry. Water is wet. It's a colorless transparent liquid, colorless transparent liquid. So the answer is water is wet. Is the water wet or dry? The answer is water is wet. Now it's uh, question number three. It's uh, one, one line uh, question or one word questions. It's too easy. All of you can do it very easily, okay? The third question is, is a horse strong or weak? Is a horse strong or weak? So first of all, tell me some something about horse, that what is a horse? Horse is a four-footed animal. The horse is found in almost all country in the world it is used for carrying main in load now noted point to be noted here the horse is used for carrying main in load and here they are asking is the horse strong or weak so from here if we are uh, telling about horse that the horse is used for carrying men and lord, so it is not a weak animal. They are carrying lord. In ancient days when transport facilities were limited, the horse were used as a vehicle for long journey. In the ancient days when the transport facility limited, so the people were used the horse as for long journeys. And other than that, the horse is also used in war. 
circles and races. So from here, we can say that the horse is not a weak animal. It is a strong animal. Horse is strong. Horse is strong. Look at the picture. It is four-footed animal and it is very strong. Is a horse strong or weak? Horse is strong. Get it? Now question number four. Is walking easy or hard? It's too simple question. If you are running, then you are using a lot of your energy. Running is hard. But walking, look at this picture. Do you think it is hard? No, it's too simple. So we will answer this question that walking is not hard. Walking is easy. Is walking easy or hard? Walking is easy. Question number five. Is thin, is small or big? They are talking about pin. Do you know what is pin? Look at this picture. It is a pin. There is variety of shape of pins. So look here. What is pin? A thin piece of metal with a sharp pointed at one end and around it other end. Sharp point with one end and round it another. And it is uh, usually used for fastening the clothes, paper and other things. It is a thin metal, sharp at one point and round at another. So now how we will answer? We will answer that thin is, pin is small, it is not big. Look at this picture. You can also answer from here. If you look the picture carefully, a pin is small. Pin is small. Question number six. Is a page a book thin or thick? This is again simple question. Open your book, turn on the pages, you will know that every page is very thin. The page of a book is not thick. We are talking about here page, not book, okay? Page. So the page is, a page of a book is thin. A page of a book is thin. Understand? Now, we will do uh, some exercise from a workbook, chapter number one. So, let's come and start. This book is thick, but this book is thin. We are joining these two sentences with the help of bird. We have already read this in lesson number one. That bird joined the sentence that have opposite ideas, opposite adjectives. So look here, this book is thick and this is thin. So we put it here, bird. All the remaining uh, sentences we will join with the help of bird. Now second one. Look at this door. It is open. Now look at this door. It is shut. 
open and shared two opposite adjective this door is open but this door is shut i'll put it here but why open and shut are two different things this girl is happy look at this girl she is happy but now look at this picture she is unhappy happy and unhappy contrast opposite so how we will fill this this girl is happy but i'll put it here but because happy and unhappy opposite but this girl is unhappy this girl is happy but this girl is unhappy now fourth one look at this woman tall and now look at this picture short tall and short again two different adjective and all of you know how to fill this line now this woman is tall but this woman is short look at this picture tall and short now look at picture number 5 big and small again two different adjective this one is big and this dog is small this dog is big but this dog is small i'll join these two pictures with the help of but Now look at this picture picture number 6 clean and dirty again two different adjective clean and dirty look here he is clean and he is dirty this boy is clean but this boy is dirty now look at this writing it's good but look at this writing it's not good good and bad good and bad again two different adjective so we will put but and we will join these two sentences this writing is good but this writing is bad this writing is good but this writing is bad now the last one cat this cat is white and this one is black two different color white and black so what we will use we will use but this cat is white but this cat is black understood got it very easy open your books and pause the screen look at this and fill in your book now a little short task note down all the questions in the notebooks all the six questions we have read today you will write down in your notebook for today up to here thank you for joining me and inshallah we'll see you soon in the next lesson